Welcome to Electra Online. The ground stations will predict where each satellite is going to be for the next 64 days or so. And they put that data into what we call data sets and send those, transmit those up to the SVs. And that will be the ephemeris data of the SVs over the next 64 days. Of course, you can imagine that the data for the next several hours, the next day or so, 24 hours, are going to be much more accurate than the data that were predicted 64 days in advance. But we send a lot of data up in advance just in case we cannot make another transmission for whatever reason. And so the DSVs can continue transmitting ephemeris data that is reasonably accurate on a daily basis for the next two months or so. So when do we cut into a new set? Because obviously the ideal thing would be to every day or so set up a new set of ephemeris data so that all the data that is being used by the receivers that they receive from the SVs is very, very accurate. And that's the ideal situation. Bigger and bigger errors are going to creep in if you use older and older data. So the idea is that, we, that the ground stations send new data to the SVs, perhaps on a daily basis, and then you need to cut over to the new set. You want to discard the old set and cut over to the new set. And the question is, when is this done? And obviously, when you're using data that's a day or two days or five days or 10 days old, you want to cut over to the new data as quickly as possible. And that's indeed the case. As soon as the transmission to the SVs is complete, the SVs will then start transmitting the new data as soon as it's available and so they don't wait till a particular point in time they just do it immediately typically you want to send a new set of data on the hour but that's not done for the first set you want to cut over to the first set as soon as it's available so that's what we're saying here is notice a new set of ephemeris data can be transmitted to the SVs at any time so when do we cut over to the new set at any time as soon as the data is available now notice the CAI, we have the CI means the clock ephemeris integrity. So obviously the newer the data set, the more integrity that information has. So that's why you want to set the newest data possible. Now on the, on the next cutover from the first to the second data set, the information isn't quite clear. I'm assuming because what they're saying is that the transmission of the first data set can be for less than an hour because when we get to the top of the hour you want to then go ahead and cut over to the next data set so the first data set is not necessarily transmitted for the entire two hour period but because the information they give us they say that it could be for less than an hour well does that mean that when you get to the top of the next hour you want to then cut over the next set or do you want to do it on a n times two hour interval past midnight and so they're not uh, they don't give us enough information to make that determination so i'm actually not quite sure if we actually do wait for the two period to two hour period or n times two hour period after the last midnight to cut over to the next data set which would then mean that the first data set is transmitted anywhere from two hours or less than two hours all the way down to less than an hour but also what they're indicating is that if that's not the case then of course the first data set would be transmitted for the first so many minutes till here the top of the hour and then you would cut in to the next data set which i'm not 100 percent sure that's happening because if you do that and you're on an odd hour then obviously when you get to midnight and then you want to cut out to cut over to the next one you kind of have a mismatch there so that's why i think they're just not clear and i believe that what i wrote here has to be correct so i'll have to yeah, look into that a little bit more. So the first cutover is at any time, maybe transmitted for less than an hour, which would indicate that when you get to the interval where it's n times two hours past midnight, you want to jump over. But if it's not so, that you might want to go an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes before that two hour period comes in, then you cut over to the next one. On the very first day, after the first cutover, you're going to cut over every two hours. That's the normal operation. And obviously, after one day, you'd like to get a new set of ephemeris data so that you can send the most accurate data to the receivers. But if that's not the case, and you want to keep going for the second through the 14th day, we now send ephemeris data sets. Every four hours will be a new one, and that's pre-calculated. And so that's done modular four hours from the start of the week. So then now we're in tune in the rollover, the end of week rollover. And so then every four hours after that, for the next 13 days, you then cut over to the new data set. For the 15 to 16 days, you do it every six hours. But again, it's modulo 12 hours from the start of the week. So we, we send 
every four hours until we get to the point where now it's on 12 hour intervals that so would be at midnight or at noon and then after that uh, from the 17 to 20 day every 12 hours the data set is sent but it's done on modular 24 hours from the start of the week in other words at the end of the end of the week rollover then every 24 hours after that you send a new data set and every and for every period after that all the way up to 63 days you're going to send or cut over to the new data set every 24 hours relative from the start of the week and so that's how we cut over so we're not 100 percent sure on this one right here but logic would indicate that this is what is indeed happening based upon the information they give us which isn't always as clear as we would like it to be and that is how it's done